So what's up, y'all? Hey, Harry. Harry, you look, you make a pretty girl. I mean, you make a pretty you. Are they called yous, Zaba? Are they called yous with goats, like lambs? You got to admit, like, a goat's got to be some kind of a blend between a, what, like a, a sheep and a cow and a dog and a, a pony, it looks like. It looks like all kinds of different animals, right? What's that about? I keep asking my Abba, Jesus Christ, what he was thinking about when he was, like, creating the animals. And I don't know. I think he answered that he was tripping on mushrooms. <laughs> what do you guys think about the new blend of cow chow? This is a new a blend. You know, like with weed, like when you smoke weed and stuff like that. Like in Colorado Springs, they have this one that was called like, um, one was called White Widow, right? There was another one that was called like Sour Diesel. And I don't know why anybody didn't just like make one that was called Locomotive. Because who can, uh, who can deny that trains aren't cool? I mean, like trains are cool is what I mean to say. I don't mean to use a double negative and negate the veracity of the fact that trains are boss. And um, guess what else is boss? Cattle. That's actually their, like, um, their family name, or their, I can't remember what it is. Like, if it's their, their species name, or their, their family name, or their, their clan name. But, um, cattle come from the boss clan. That's B-O-S. And it means what it sounds like it means. Boss. Right? Boss. Which, again, explains so much about Mike Davis. I mean, he's just like... I think a lot of the thing about him is he, he can't help it. Like, sometimes your brain doesn't work right when you're, like... I, they've like done these, like, I started looking up these, uh, you know, I had these questions about like transgender and about like just trans period. And I was like looking up like experiments that they've done to like make it happen and stuff like that. And one of the things that's happened is that like the hybrid animals always turn out to be like freaks, right? I mean, like gigantic and like they have like a fused frontal lobe or something like that or their septum is deviated also and um maybe they've got like a lazy eye and uh you know like maybe a buck teeth and stuff like that but anyway they come out looking real freakish you know what i mean maybe like hugely gigantic ears that they can fly with and um I mean, like, it's hard when, when, a, when a baby comes out that way, right? And you see, that's not how babies are supposed to come out, right? That's not how goat babies are supposed to come out. Wow, well, too bad that was a goat baby and a cow baby mixed up together. Too bad we didn't realize that before we, like, brought this cow to term, right? And then when the, and then when the baby calf comes out, and it looks like it's part goat and part calf. And then everybody like shrinks back in horror. They're like, what do we do with it? What should we do with it? And my Abba, Jesus Christ, he said, you should raise it up and teach it to fly. Because it's got really big ears. And so I figured it's just like Dumbo. Dumbo must have been some kind of a hybrid. I mean, between bird and elephant, right? Because otherwise he couldn't fly, right? Uh, anyway, he had really big ears, and he could use them as wings. And it just seems like, well, actually, I guess a bunch of black crows taught him how to fly. Because otherwise, he didn't, like, just learn on his own. Like, he didn't, Dumbo wasn't like an elephant that one day, like, woke up and said, you know what, I feel like I'm a bird inside. I know I look like an elephant. I feel like I'm a bird 
and then he didn't just like start trying to like flap his wings and fly. No, like the birds taught him how to be more birdish, more bird-like. But I doubt that they ate the same kind of food. Or maybe they do.